Shalom Israel, it's your boy New Breed coming through with another live stream. As you enter the chat, make sure you hit the thumbs up on the way in. This particular video, I want to talk about those who are watching you close. I want to talk about the downfall of those who are conspiring, plotting, observing you with despitefulness and torture and wickedness. I want to talk about the destruction of those people who defame your character, who take their shots, who shoot their fiery darts. I got to let you brothers and sisters know they watch and they talk. They do a whole lot. They some nosy people, I tell you that much. But I gotta let you know, you protected, man. If you one of the most high God's children, you are under his shadow of protection. The Bible tells us no weapon formed against thee shall ever prosper. Anybody who rides their tongue against you the most high shall condemn. Yeah. Those people who poking while you walking, talking behind your back, talking about how strange you are because you're not engaged in ridiculous activity, like putting others down or talking about others behind their back. They looking at you like you strange. Now they got your name in their mouth. The most high God said, Anybody who raised their tongue against you, he will condemn. Brothers and sisters, you are protected. You are protected. And I find a need to have this particular stream because I received an inordinate amount of emails from a lot of brothers and sisters who pretty much dived into my archives on a lot of my older videos in regards to targeted individuals. And there's a lot of disnomers that I gotta totally clear up for a lot of brothers and sisters to truly understand that yes, on certain governmental files, there are certain people who stand out in society. There are certain individuals who have high levels of intellect because they think outside of the box. They don't follow everybody else. J. Edgar Hoover, he put it in FBI papers. They was in they was in fear of a black messiah rising. So they put eyes on the projects. They put surveillance on the projects. They put surveillance on the poor. Those who was putting up street lights, doing food drives, helping their community. Those people were being watched. And there's still organizations that set up to keep surveillance on the children of God. There's no doubt about that. So when I speak in regards of targeted individuals, yes, it's a known fact that there has been surveillance set up. E. Kelly, thank you for the $10 contribution. Highly appreciate you, fam. Thank you for that. Thank you for your support. Yeah, somebody said, thank the most how they got they noti. That's what's up. I'm glad you got your noti as well. You got to know the most high God is protecting. Spiritual laws. There are spiritual laws in place. That Satan and his minions can't cross. You got to understand this, ladies and gentlemen. If they could, they would. If they could take us all out, they would. If they can march down to your home right now and put a bullet in your head, then they would do it. That's how much the enemy hates you. That's how much Satan and his minions loathe the sight of you. But there's spiritual laws. There's spiritual laws that can't be crossed. When you read the Bible, it tells you in the book of Job, that Satan had to get permission to do any type of persecution 
to Job. He had to get permission from who? From the Most High God. Everything that you see, ladies and gentlemen, in this matrix is an illusion. It's all an illusion. It's all fear tactics. That's all it is. The Most High God is in control. And that's what they don't want you to know. That's what they don't want you to know. Future man, thank you for the $5 contribution, says Shalom fam. I always appreciate the message. All praises to the Most High, all praises. And thank you for your support. Yeah, somebody said the popo just passed me. I know. I know. They watching. They always watching. Rubies and Pearl says, teach new breed. Let the most high use you, king. All praises. And thank you for that contribution. And I will. But they always watching. And that's what even made me do this video. Because I had a couple, a couple of situations just today. Just today. And you all know I'm a social media guy. I'm on social media. I speak a lot of truths that a lot of people are afraid to touch on. A lot of the tough subject matters. I go there. And you know, I, I, I witnessed a lot of things going on around me today that I choose not to speak on social media because at the end of the day, they like to paint you a certain way. They like to use everything that you say against you. They, I mean, literally. They like to use everything you say against you. So all you brothers and sisters on social media, be careful. Because they always watching. Vanessa Lopez, thank you for the $50 contribution. Highly appreciate you. Says God bless you, new breed. God bless you as well. Thank you for contributing. The Real Drewski, Reality Revealed. Thank you for the $5 contribution. Thank you for that. Thanks for your support. Somebody said, do not be afraid for the arrow that flyeth by day. Facts though, this is all an illusion and they want you to believe that man has more power than he does. If man has so much power, why they haven't grasped control of the righteous like they want? Why they haven't stopped us? Why they haven't totally derailed this awakening? They don't have the power to. And the more these satanic elites make moves, the more games that they play with the most high creator, the more they find out how much control they really don't have. Imagine this. Imagine knowing that you're on the wrong side of judgment. But you've been reprobated to the point where you got to play for the left side and watch those who are doing right. But you know at the end you're going to lose. And every move you make, the Most High God yelling checkmate. And you know, and you find out all along that you are being used by the Creator to chastise the righteous, to make the righteous come to Him. Nothing happens in this earth unless the Most High say so. And everything that happens in this earth is for the benefit of the righteous. It's for the benefit of the Most High's people. It's all in our favor. It all works out in our favor. Everything that happened to you in your life is actually working out in your favor. It was to critique your character. It was to help you see through the turmoil. It was, it was to help you be tried like gold through the furnace. Straight up. No lies, man. Somebody said they can watch us but can't stop us. Blessings is never ending to the righteous. That's a fact, though. They can watch all day. I'm telling you now. They want you relying on these agents. They want you relying on those that they set into position. Here you have it. You got the founder of Black Lives Matter. The supposed founder. The alleged founder. She starts a whole damn race war. And then she run her ass up in the hills. She start a whole race war. And then go run up in the hills to be with those folks. They want you to fall for the illusion. It's all an illusion, ladies and gentlemen. No doubt about that. Yeah, hit that like button, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get this notification out. Y'all know they like to play games with the numbers, man. Somebody said we rely on the most high only and Babylon is falling. Absolutely. And we get to watch it fall. And we get to watch those around us who plot, who speak dirt on your name. We get to literally watch them crumble. And here, here is the judgment of the Most High. 
he actually lets us see them fall. I mean, he lets us see it. Daughter of Zion, thank you for the $10 contribution. Says, bless you, brother, for all you give. Y'all's people, all praises to the Most High. Thank you for that. Thank you for your support. We get to watch them fall. And they get to watch us rise. When them scriptures say the last shall finish first and the first shall finish last, man, it ain't no lies. And they really have fooled themselves to make themselves believe that they in control. I'm telling you. I made a bold statement on one of my last live streams and I said, listen, white supremacy, it lives up here. White supremacy, it lives right here in your heads because you telling me that the people you perceive to be in control of the world, notice I said you perceive them to be in control of the world. You perceive them to have utter domination over people. That's your perception, right? The people you perceive to have utter control and domination, you believe they made a limit for you to reach. You believe that they, they put a cap on where you can basically reach in life. No. That's like saying that God doesn't exist. That's like saying that there's no creator. That's like saying that, you know, the most high can't bring you where he wants to bring you. And I'm going to tell you like this. Some of y'all. You at these jobs and you noticing that one door gets shut. And trust me, I've seen it time and time again. It's happened to me. You see one door get shut. And yeah, it may have something to do with your race. And another door open for somebody who don't deserve it. And you'll see that and you'll be like, man, Lord, you know, why am I not getting what I deserve? The reason why is because he's protecting you. You know, that opportunity that you want so bad ain't always the right way. Yeah, that opportunity that you always seeking and that door get closed, that's because the Most High's protecting you. You're not meant to go down that door. He taking you a whole nother direction. He like, no, I'm going to close that door because I'm protecting you from something and I'm going to take you down this door. And 10 times out of 10, where you headed in that door, it's the right direction. That's how much the Most High protect us. Even when we think that we are being chastised telling you man yep somebody said it rejection is protection that's a fact though shireen nicole thank you for the 20 dollars contribution and it reads for many are called but few are chosen matthew 22 and 14 we have been called and chosen by the most high god all praises to yah your wisdom knowledge understanding you bring is respected and very appreciated god bless thank you highly appreciate that thank you for showing your support all praises to the God of Israel. Y'all know what it is. And I'm telling you right now, the Most High will protect you. I've seen it time and time again, man. Somebody say, even if you alone. Absolutely. A lot of the times, the people that you closest to, they the ones that's gunning for you. They the ones that got it out for you a lot of the times. And the Most High will get them out of your life, even if it hurts. Why? Because they were not on your level to go where you going. The most high bringing you somewhere that they can't go. They just not there. Chris Davis, thank you for the $20 contribution. It reads, God is speaking through you, brother. All praises to the most high. All praises. Somebody said, Newbury, you are so right. I'm leaving a major drugstore chain for a better job. Facts, though. The most high wanted to move you. He wanted to get you out of there. I'm telling you. Family can be your downfall. Friends can be your downfall. Associates, colleagues, those that you kick it with on a daily basis can be your downfall. And you got to be prepared to walk away from any and everybody to seek the Heavenly Father, man, in order for you to be protected in this life. You got to be willing. The Most High God is only using people who are willing. You got to know that. Yeah, absolutely. Somebody said come from amongst them. That's what being set apart is all about. Come from amongst them. Holy only means set apart, ladies and gentlemen. You want to live holy? That means you set apart. That means you ain't you ain't with all of the, the wickedness. Reese Moyet, thank you for the $20 contribution. Says amen, amen, and amen again. All praises. Thank you, sister. Highly appreciate you. Thank you for the support. And the word amen means so be it. And that's what it's going to be. That's what it's going to be. And we got to start speaking life into existence. 
This whole system fuels fear. That's all they do. You turn on the TV, it's to keep you in this illusion, keep you in this box. Telling you right now, man, watch out for these despair merchants who want to feed off of putting you in a low vibration. Surin, Surin Co, thank you for the $20 contribution. It says, make sure y'all like the video. Absolutely. Yeah, they want to keep you programmed. They don't want you to think outside of this. They don't want people to have revolutionary thoughts. They want to control our thoughts. I'm telling you, this is a matrix, man. Once you take that red pill, everything changes. Nothing is the same no more. You realize that, listen, the spiritual realm, that's the real deal. All this flesh and bone, all this corruption in society, all these corruptible bodies, all this materialism, all these possessions, all this, you know, everybody gunning, you know, and competing and this spirit of preeminence and dominance and this, this self, I would say, self-determined, living on your own will type of life. It's not, it's, it's just not conducive for a spiritual journey. It's not conducive for growth. It's just not. And eventually you get tired. You get tired of trying to keep up with the Joneses. You get tired of trying to fit in with every damn body. You get tired of walking on eggshells. And then you realize, look, not only am I prepared to go, but I'm prepared to go on my own. And once you get to that point, the most high, like, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I want to hear. That's what I want to hear. You prepared to walk your Damascus road. You prepared to walk that narrow path alone if you have to. You, you looking at people like, hey, I live alone, die alone, but I'm going to tell the truth, but I'm going to live righteous. I'm going to honor God's laws. I don't care. Thank you for the $20 contribution. Highly appreciate you, Marky. Thank you. I seen another a super chat up here. Let me make sure I read that one off. Um, Yeah, Miss Tamika Love, thank you for your $20 contribution as well. All praises to the most high. Thank you all for supporting this work. I seen another one here. Um, Nick Morales, thank you for the contribution, ten dollars. Uh, Hebrew, Hebrews thirteen and six, so that they may boldly say, "The Lord is my helper, and I will not fear what man should do unto me." All praises to the Most High. You ain't lying, because you know, I got to put this out here. Going back to targeted individuals, I got to let y'all know, because there's a lot of people who watched a lot of my videos. And they're coming in the wrong spirit. They got the wrong message from my videos. They got the wrong message. And I got to clear some things out. Yes. Anytime you are walking according to the will of the Father, anytime you are being enlightened, anytime you are waking up, there's going to be watchers. Yeah. Because there's a spiritual battle going on. Right? There's going to be people who watch it. Matter of fact, a lot of people... Who, infest, who are infested with evil spirits and demons, let me tell you like this. They know to watch you before you even know why they're watching. Let me repeat that. They know to watch you before you even know why they're watching. Because anything that happens in the spiritual realm then manifests to the physical. It starts off in the spiritual realm. So demons, they already see that you, you kind of like moving different. They like, hold on, you know, there's a light shining on this person. Demons and angels can see this light. The angels know, okay, I see a light bulb down there on that person. Let me go down there and protect them. See, when that light starts to brighten, then the more angels gravitate towards it. You have guardian angels, bro. There are angels that protect you, I'm telling you right now. And they on their post. The more light that is surrounding you, the more they gravitate. The more they gravitate, there's ministering angels. Sometimes you be getting thoughts when you hurting, when you depressed, when you feeling stressed out. Those ministering angels will come. They'll whisper in your ear. They'll be like, hey, everything going to be all right. You don't even know that thought didn't even come from you. Because when you looking, when you looking at what's going on around you, if you was looking and walking by sight and not by faith, you couldn't get through it. You like, I couldn't have made it through that. But it's always that ministering spirit like, hey, 
you know what? You're going to be all right. You're going to make it through this. I know things are rough right now, but you'll get through it. There are ministering angels. There's guardian angels. There's angels that protect. Let me tell you something. Some of y'all, y'all been in situations and y'all had angels pull you out of those situations. You know damn well if you would have gotten that car with somebody to make that move, to pull that little lick with somebody, guess what? You wouldn't have made it back. There's some people who didn't make it back, right? All it took for you was to not get in that car that damn night. And some of you brothers who grew up in certain environments, you know exactly what I'm talking about. All you had to do was get in that car that night and you wouldn't have made it. You wouldn't even be here. You know why? Because there was an angel telling you, look, don't get in that car tonight. It's time to part ways. Nah, you, you need to be in the house right now. Straight up, straight up like that. I mean, the most high gonna get his, he ain't gonna let you reel too far. He ain't gonna let you veer too far away without reeling you in. If you've been called and chosen, he ain't gonna let you go too far without reeling you back in. You dig? Somebody said, whoa, butterflies in my stomach. I could feel it. Facts, though. And we all been there. We all been there. I'm telling you, man. Most High is protecting us. And sometimes we get denied certain things because the Most High, he's protecting us, just like your children. When you deny your child, right, of having them damn honey buns for breakfast, eating that sugary ass cereal every damn morning for breakfast, you you protecting them for high, from high cholesterol. You protecting them from having sugar diabetes, right? That's how the Most High do. You don't always get what you want, man. And some of us, we use the most high like, you know, like a damn sugar daddy out here. Like, no, nah, ain't, they ain't how it work. That's why in the Lord's prayer said, listen, Lord. Let your will be done on earth as well as it is in heaven. Let your will be done. That's how you're supposed to pray. Let your will be done. Not let, let me get what I want. Let me pray when I need something or I, I feel like I need something because the only thing you really need is food, clothes, shelter, and raiment. That's all you really need. You need food, clothes, shelter, and raiment. Separate your needs from your wants. Sometimes we be like thinking we need something, praying to the most high for you don't need that. I'm telling you. Yeah, DJ Taddy said it, always pray. That's a fact though. Somebody says, seek ye first the kingdom of the Most High, and these things will be added unto you. Facts, though. We got to stop treating the Most High like he's a damn genie in a lamp. And then get mad. They got the nerve to get mad when you ain't get what you wanted. <laughs> <coughs> Don't work like that. <clears throat> Let me get hydrated here. Yeah, facts though. Somebody said the anointing is shining. Hallelujah. All praises to the most high. Let the spirit, let the Holy Spirit permeate. Somebody said you just like the uh, the rest of these false preachers. Hey, think what you want to think, man. I'm not here to argue with you. But you sitting here watching me. How's the weather, new breed? The weather's beautiful. Somebody said almighty eternal God slash dad knows better. Absolutely. Facts though. And I'm going to tell you, man, let me make this very clear to those who perceive themselves to be targeted individuals. Let me make this very clear. Let me let this message resonate with you the best way I can. I hope it resonates. You are not targeted. You are empowered. You are not targeted. You are empowered. All right. The reason why people scoff, the reason why people watch, the the reason the reasons why people got things to say, the reason why people are creating smear campaigns, the reason why you may see drones, you may see drones in in your neighborhood, way too much in front of your house. You know, drones are around, ladies and gentlemen. This is a surveillance state. How you think they get all the Google images of where people live? They use drones. Listen, let me make this clear. Yes, you are empowered, but that spirit of fear, you got to get rid of that. Like you got to get rid of that. I didn't watch people get targeted by individuals 
who practice gang stalking because some of y'all may not be familiar with the terms I'm using. When I talk about targeted individuals, I'm talking about people who are victims of organized mobbing, all right? It's called gang stalking, all right? It happens. It happens to those who have political and religious differences, all right? It happens to individuals who see the world different and those around them watch them in a very conspicuous manner because they fear what they don't understand. So therefore, a lot of the energy gets geared towards one person. And it could be a group of people, just random people. It could be friends, family, colleagues, associate, co-workers. Um, it could be a number of people. Or if it's next level, um, it could be an agency, all right? It could be a private agency, or it could be, you know, police. It could be Freemasons. Um, it could be FBI. It could be CIA. It just all depends on what type of influence you got, all right? Because it's all about influence these days. Y'all gotta understand, it's not about a title. You can call yourself a preacher, a pastor, an elder, a deacon, I don't care what you call yourself. They don't care. All they care about is influence. I mean, damn it, the former president of the United States was blocked from social media, and that nigga was the president. So they don't care, they care about influence. It's not about a title. So all them people thinking that they somebody and this, that, and the third, listen, this world, the, the, the demons who are in control of these platforms, they only care about influence. It don't even matter about numbers. If you can say something that's going to stimulate some real thought and provoke change in people's everyday life, then guess what? They see that as a threat. They see it as a threat because they want people to be docile. They want people to be dormant. They want people to be idiotic. They want people to believe everything the media says. And they want people to basically follow all these Judas goats on their way to the damn slaughter. That's what they want. They want to put certain organizations in front of you like BLM, bunch of damn sellouts. Blo listen, blowing loot, BLM, <laughs> blowing lots of money. That's what we're going to call BLM. That's what it stands for, blowing lots of money. Blowing lots of money. Taking all your contributions to few political campaigns. And then, you know, and then they want to be the accusers of us. They want to eat off our downfall. All while accusing us at the same damn time. Man, the hell with the devil and the hell with his system. The hell with the devil's kingdom, straight up. Yeah. Somebody said, if you're not learning and acquiring beneficial spiritual facts and growing spiritually, you are probably not chosen. Facts, though. That is the truth, sis. And here, here's the thing. If anything you're learning doesn't require for you to change, like if it doesn't require for you to look at yourself and say, you know what? I can't continue this way. Then what you're learning is false. If what you're learning doesn't make you practice some type of self-autonomy and, and change you and help you to deal with conflict resolution better or it helps you to deal with you know emotional intelligence on a higher level and really get closer to the most high god then guess what what you learning is bullsh let me keep it clean for you too it's just nonsense Somebody said they're going to cut a few people we love. Facts, though. Yeah, we got 1,100 people in here. We got thus amount of likes, man. Y'all get the likes up on this video. Y'all get the likes up on this video. We're not playing no games, man. Somebody said you on IG, fam. Yeah, absolutely. New Breed 404 is my IG. Somebody said, New Breed, thank you for answering the call of the most high. It says, uh, I've really been blessed by your videos from UK. All praises worldwide to the 12 tribes. Shout out to everybody in the UK and everybody abroad. Yeah, thank y'all for liking the video. Appreciate it. Let's see if we can get some more likes, man. If y'all if y'all watching it, show your support. Somebody said, you ain't messing with me no more. I don't know, I don't know who you are. Somebody said, uh, dang, had to restart my energy, man. Uh, it says, I'm on my street, back already. 
on the third day is strong, you're working towards. Rise again. That's all that matters, everyone. Oh, yeah, you fall real hard, but you get back up, man. Listen, in this spiritual journey, you on a marathon, not a race. We all fall short of the glory. We all fall short. Look, the Bible says, let every man be a liar and he be the truth. Meaning, listen, don't don't follow no man. Like, that's why it's funny. Some cat came in here talking about, oh, uh, you a false prophet, you a preacher. You don't see me in no church fleecing the flock. But at the end of the day, here's the thing. Here's the thing. If you was just looking at the information and seeking the most high yourself, you wouldn't be concerned with that. If you was trying to get the information so you could get closer to the Heavenly Father, then you would not be concerned with who I am. That's the whole point. That's the whole point. Like, everybody got to worry about them. You understand? Because if you want protection from the Almighty, then guess what? You got to reflect on yourself. You got to be introspective with your thoughts. Stop looking for a moat sticking out of your brother's eye, and you got a whole damn tree branch sticking out of yours. You got, you got too much going on with your life. Mystic Dynamics, thank you for the $20 contribution. Highly appreciate you. Because the most high will protect you if you're on your right track. I done seen it. I done seen people get removed. I'm telling you, growing up, man, in D.C., I've been in a lot of scuffles. I've been in a lot of scuffles and a lot of brawls and a lot of fights. I'm telling you right now. And I watch people who... Who've done things to people. I've watched them get taken out. I watch people who've done things to me that they shouldn't have done get taken out. I'm telling you. I had some cats that jumped me, right? Back in the day, back in school, right? Because, you know, I know how to throw my hands. I can fight. So people have to jump you when you know what you're doing with your with your fists. So I've had people jump me, right? Uh, two years after these brothers got jumped, one of them died, the other one got paralyzed from the waist down. One died, the other one got paralyzed from the waist down, bro. I ain't making this up. You know why? Because they was wrong. And the most high judged them for that. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not, you know, I'm just saying the most high gonna protect his own. Hey, you, you will sit there and watch people lose everything. You'll watch people lose their position. In life, you watch people lose everything that that two years ago, a year ago, they had a lot to say about you. They thought you was they, they thought you was going to fail. They put all these dark prayers and cusses and curses in the air on your life. They talk about how you wasn't going to be shh, how you wasn't going to do this and how you wasn't going to do that. Now, they they end up being a whole knot out in these streets. They end up falling, succumbing to their own devices. Why? Because they thought too big. They, they thought too boldly of themselves. They ain't have no humility. They wasn't humble. They thought way too much of themselves. And the Lord had to let them know, you ain't nothing. You ain't. I dare you condemn that individual who's trying to find their way. I dare you condemn that individual who's trying to walk the righteous path. I dare you condemn them. You got to pay for words. Even on social media, y'all got to understand. And that scripture where it says, even those who, who lift their tongue up against the most high people, even those who lift their tongue up against the most high people, he will condemn you. Like, just because this is social media, be careful what you say, bro. Be careful what you say to people. Because people like to throw stones, hide their hand. People think because they behind a monitor, because they behind a screen, they can say whatever and the Most High's not watching. They think they're not held accountable. You ha Listen, you held accountable for every word that come out your mouth, man. Straight up. Um, Bam Barah, thank you for the uh, $5 contribution. It reads, Brother Newbree, you changed my life. One video. It took for me to lose interest in everything I wanted my whole life. You showed me the light, brother. All praises to the Most High. The Most High showed you the light. The Most High showed you the light. He just he just happened to use me as a vessel at that time. Somebody said, any book recommendations on the 12 tribes? Um, read the 12 patriarchs. Read the 12 patriarchs. It's a real good book for you. 
Somebody said, all praises and glory to the Heavenly Father, the Most High God of Israel. Facts, though. Somebody said, God is so good. Absolutely. And he got you protected, man. That's our Father that art in heaven, man. He created all of this. Like, I don't believe none of the illusions. I don't, I don't fall for this matrix system. It's got to take, it's got to take a lot to put an individual like myself in fear. And I've, I've, I've been a victim of gang stalking. I've been a victim of gang stalking. I know what it's like to walk out of your house and all your neighbors walk out when you walk out. I know what it's like to be followed through grocery stores. And you're like, what the hell is going on? I know what it's like to be followed on the freeway. All right. I know what it's like, ladies and gentlemen. I've been there. I've been there in my in my initial spiritual journey of first waking up when the veil is getting lifted. I feel like people around me. I feel like people around me had been choreographed by Satan. Literally all at once. It's like Satan is the main hub. And all these people are connected to their to they dad, to their to they father, which is Lucifer, right? And I feel like they was moving according to my spirit being enlightened. But all the while, I was also getting angels. Because those angels were required. I'm telling you right now, there was people, listen, there's people who plot all the time. All the time. Some of y'all, even, even in the midst of you doing something you ain't got no business doing, you've been protected. That's how much the Most High love you. Ain't that crazy? Most High love you so much, you at some place that you know you shouldn't even be at. Like, you know you ain't supposed to be there because your gut then told you, your ministering angel then told you, your spirit then told you, your conscience then told you. But guess what? You went there anyway. You went there anyway. Whole damn club got shot up. But you ain't get shot. You went, the club got shot, and that was your warning right there. You know you wasn't supposed to be there. You like, yo, I didn't even want, I didn't even want to go out tonight. You like, I didn't even want to be there. But I went anyway. Nine times out of ten is because somebody else was trying to pull you in. And you like, I ain't even really want to go there. But I went, and now that place got shot. I'm blessed to walk away. Next time I need to listen to the most high telling you yeah somebody said gotta follow your spirit first you right gerald tabitha bond says gotta follow uh, oh uh, tabitha bond says uh there's definitely watching me yeah i mean people go through these things man especially a lot of a lot of single women a lot of single women go through this a lot single women are the biggest targets of organized mobbing because let me tell you Lucifer always prays on the weaker vessel. He always prays on the woman. And then, you know, women are vulnerable. Women with no men to these cowards are vulnerable. So that's who they're going to be watching. And that's why I oblige you sisters, get you a good God-fearing man who about the truth, who about bettering themselves and doing the right thing. You got to get you a good man. Because guess what? Some of you women, just because a man got all of the all of the checks on the list that you want. He's a certain height, he make a certain amount of money, uh, he's doing certain things in his life, he's handsome, he, he meet A, B, C, D, and E. You wanna jump on that, but you don't even know who this man's serving. You don't even know what God he's serving. You don't know what he's into. He may be the reason why you get gang stalked. It may be like a Rosemary baby situation. His whole family probably could be Freemasons and he at the lodge in the middle of the night on a damn Saturday night in a, in a damn Freemason lodge masturbating in a casket telling his deepest, darkest secrets to his lodge members. You don't know what the hell that nigga doing. You don't know what he doing. You don't know what he's involved in. You know why? Because you didn't check. The, you, you was looking at everything else except what that man serves. You was looking at everything carnally telling you this world you got you better start digging deeper you better start digging deeper and somebody and don't think i'm being facetious that is actually a ritual that they do in the in the, in the lodge there's a book called the illuminati written by jim mars the secret societies written by jim mars and that's the source i got from what i just stated
So I ain't say that for shock value. Uh, Drew Mills, thank you for the $15 contribution, says you can tell there are folks out there, out here that are just regurgitating what you speak to, fam. The spirit doesn't resonate with them. They just want to be heard or accepted. That's a fact, though. And I don't worry about it. I'm glad you brought that up, too, Drew Mills, because I'm the type of person, let me put this out here, that I like when people duplicate some of the things that I say. Because I'm more about the message than being, oh, I, I'm, I came up with this and I came up with that. Oh, they trying to copy me. No, 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 no. If you learn something from me, I don't care if it's a one-liner. As long as you shout me out when it comes time to it, be like, yo, you know, I learned a lot from this brother. You don't see brothers nowadays making videos, you know, commemorating brothers that they learn from. You know, as long as you like, hey, I learned that from you, bro. Like, you really dropped some knowledge right there. Shout out to so-and-so. And I shout brothers out all the time. You know what I'm saying? If you learn it from somebody, shout them out. But I want, I wanted to spread. When I first started, when I first started on YouTube, not to get into a long dissertation on this, but when I first started on YouTube, it was only me and one other brother who was speaking on a no fap lifestyle change, which is semen retention. A man, um, a man, you know, keeping his seed so he can build up, build up his body, his mind, his spirit. A man taking an oath of celibacy for a certain amount of time. It was me and one other uh, content creator speaking on it. Now I look around, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. And I don't once go, oh man, y'all got that from me. Y'all got that from the other brother. I don't do that. Because I wanted the message to go out. So I don't have to keep talking about it, right? Anise Delvin, thank you for the $20 contribution. Says, new sub and listening. Thanks for speaking the facts, my brother. Peace and love. Thank you for that. Highly appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for supporting. And a lot of people don't know, don't know my history here on YouTube. They don't know my history on YouTube, Drew. Like, I've been here for... I've been here since 2009. A lot of people don't know that. There's a lot of videos that I took down off of YouTube, but I have videos that stemmed way back in 2009. I've been on YouTube. I just took a break. I think I took a three year break. It was either a three or four year break. It was like a three year break and then I came back. But a lot of people don't know that. Sometimes you gotta give them a history lesson. Somebody said ever since I started listening to you. I stopped letting people take my energy. Then seeing the narcissist become weak when I kept my composure blew my mind. Absolutely. I'm telling you, brother, when you when you really apply these components that I be teaching in these videos, man, you're going to come out on top and you're going to recognize and realize a whole lot about people, about society, about just people that you thought was your ace boom coons. You're going to be like, damn, man. You know, the sky's the limit for me now because now I don't have people around muddy in the waters. Um, Barbara, thank you for the $10 contribution. It says, thank you for sharing this truth. All praises to the most high. Thank you for showing your support and having the ears to hear and the eyes to see. But when you ain't got nobody muddy in the waters, man, the sky is the limit. It's like, yo, Lord, take me where you're going to take me. And then you get confidence in the protection he gives you. GG Sharon, thank you for the $10 contribution. It says, continue speaking the truth, new breed. Peace and blessings to you. Peace and blessings to you as well. Highly appreciate you. Somebody said they do muddy the waters. They do. You got so many voices in your head. How you going to hear the creator? How you going to hear your creator let you know what direction to take? All you chosen brothers and sisters out there, you got to learn how to. You got to learn how to pace yourself and move when the spirit moves. You got to learn how to move when the spirit moves, not when people try to tug and pull and push and move you around. You got to move when the spirit moves. Like even when you having conversations with individuals, it's okay not to answer someone immediately. It's okay. Thank you for the $10 contribution, Michelle King. Highly appreciate it. it says, keep up the kingdom work, new breed. You're appreciated. I appreciate you too. Thank you. You don't always have to reply to someone immediately. If you don't know what to say at that moment, keep your energy. If there's nothing that you can say at that moment that's going to be beneficial for you, because guess what? Protection comes on you bridling your tongue as well. 
You have to learn how to bridle your tongue, ladies and gentlemen, because protection comes when you protect your energy, when you know when not to respond to certain things. Because you got a lot of these damn perpetrators out here who are always trying to gaslight somebody. Always trying to get a damn response. Listen, oh, it ain't always time to respond. Anytime people get insecure, they want to try to trigger a response out of you. Listen, I'm very secure in myself. As a chosen, God-fearing, elected person, you got to be very secure in yourself. You got to know yourself. You got to be like, look, I'm, se I'm secure in the person that I am. I know not to respond to this because, listen, I'm not going to let this, I'm not going to let this affect my, my mood, my motions. And you got to know, you got to be, I don't care if you got to wait two weeks before you reach back out. Somebody texts you two weeks later, you're like, listen, I waited, I waited to respond to you because I had to let the spirit guide me on how to respond. I don't just, I don't just move off impulse or emotion. That's when things can get dangerous because when you entertain the devil, you let them in. When you let them in, now you got to fight the spirit that you want to avoid. Yep, absolutely. Somebody said, uh, shy, blood, shy Blood Before Dishonor, salute to th that sister right there. She got some great music. Go over there and go over there and subscribe to her. I, hey, listen, let me just say this. I love her album. Her album is absolutely fire. Her album is called Soul Purpose. It's on YouTube at Shy Blood Before Dishonor. I love her album, bro. I love every song on that album. It is fire. Uh, Ricardo Gonzalez, thank you for the twenty dollar contribution. Says new breed. I lost my cool at work, and the other day I said some bad stuff. I felt guilty immediately, but it's been weighing on me since. They pulled my strings on a good note. I'm fifty day, fifty eight days weed free. Not possible without you or the Most High. All oh, praises, y'all. Throw a flame emoji in the chat for that brother who is fifty eight days no marijuana straight up clean man get that brother a flame emoji man get that brother a flame emoji. thank y'all man support that brother man that's the real deal right there but let me tell you fam you we all make mistakes we all have issues with emotional intelligence as people as chosen as elected we've been through a lot bro you know what i'm saying rome wasn't built in a day but it sure as hell was destroyed in the day now, I say that to say this. Yeah, you blew up. You made a mistake. You failed. Now, get back up and just know not to do it again. Know that that can't be a pattern. That you can't continue to do that. You could lose your livelihood behind that. You can lose you can lose your freedom behind that. And take it from an individual who, who've always had a very high-strung personality. And listen, I used to battle with a strong anger, bro. The Most High helped me transmute that energy, learn how to transmute that anger and that rage and facilitate it to do something great. Man, that brother still getting them flame emojis, man. They ain't playing. That ain't no joke, though. That should be that should be revered when a brother is getting clean, bro. When a brother is cleaning up his life and he getting off of anything that's taking him off the path, man, I love to see that. I love when a brother stop drinking for a while, stop smoking, stop, you know, stop doing certain things to get on a dean, get on a, you know, get on a move. Straight up. Somebody said poetry and the music became an outlet to deal with anger. That's how you got to do it. That's how you got to do it. You got to find something positive. You know what I'm saying? Got to find something positive. Somebody said still smoke TBH. What is TBH, man? Whatever you smoke and get rid of it, man. And, uh, and don't get it twisted. Everything with balance in life, like tobacco, for instance. Somebody, when I first started to chat, it was like, I haven't smoked a cigarette all day. That's good. Congratulations to you as well. But we got to know balance. Like, I'm not telling you to smoke no cigarettes. But anytime you see old timers sometimes and they got a, a little cigar, they got their little kayak and they got one of their good cigars. You know, I don't judge that. I don't I don't judge stuff like that, man. I, you know, I just I'm, I'm a very balanced person. I'm a very realistic person. And I be around people, you know, who do certain things that I don't agree with. But I'm not going to be judgmental or religious towards people. But definitely get off them cigarettes. Get off them cigarettes, man. 
They tell you on the pack that they got cancer. They give you cancer. It tells you on the pack. But anything, too much of anything in life will destroy you. If you drink too damn much, you're going to have liver failure. But drinking is allotted and allowed in the Bible. So it's like you got to have balance in your life. You know what I'm saying? You got to have some balance. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, somebody said no smoke, more healthier. Facts, though. Yeah, somebody said it's hard to stop drinking for me. Yeah, I'm actually on a on a fast from from alcohol for a while. I'm on a fast for it. I'm a fast from it for a while. I don't really know how long. Um, once I make a certain weight that I'm trying to make, then I'll have a celebratory drink. But um, yeah, I ain't having no alcohol for a while myself. Once I once I reach the goal that I'm trying to reach, then I have a celebratory drink. But, you know, I'm chilling. Yeah, but no doubt about it, man. Listen, um, I got another channel, ladies and gentlemen. I got another channel. It's called New Breeds Green Light News. It's called New Breeds Green Light News. And let me break down what New, New Breeds Green Light News is. And I want everybody to go, sub, you know, subscribe to it. New Breeze Green Light News. Um, thank you for the five dollar contribution. Says supporting you always. May the Most High God continue to bless you in boldness and strength. Thank you always. All praises. Thank you for your contribution. Um, now this new channel, right? It's basically news clips or anything I felt find is relevant that's going on in society. I'm compiling it all in one place. All right. I already got a few hundred, I think a couple hundred subscribers over there already, which is great. Um, anything I think is to any importance, I'm putting it on New Breed, New Breed's Green Light News, all right? Instead of having world star hip hop, I want y'all to imagine, I want y'all to see my vision here of what I'm doing. I feel like there's a place that all the saints need to go that's kind of like world star hip hop. But it's various video clips that bring some type of balance. All right. I want y'all to see what's going on within our communities. But I also want to show some positivity that's going on in our communities. Because when you go on World Star Hip Hop, all you see is just the most delinquent, disturbed, animalistic people in our community. You don't see no good news with our people. So I figured that I add some balance and make a channel of clips where we're doing good. Some of it will be bad because I will be reacting to certain things. So a lot of the videos over there on New Breeds Green Light New Green Light New New Breeds Green Light News. That's what it's called. You gonna see a lime green New Breed sign. And um, some of the videos over there, I will be doing reactions to them. All right, I'll be doing reactions to them on a on a series that I'm putting together on Patreon only. It's called New Breed Reacts. And it's all it's only going to be on Patreon. So if you want to see me react to the videos that get uploaded, you got to be a Patreon. Y'all can get access for as little as three dollars a month. Go over there and show y'all support. There's some very good content over there. Um, you can set your own tier, but you can get access as little as three dollars. But set your tier if you, depending on what you want. All right. If you want full access, you want all the videos, then you set a higher tier. All right. But. You know, I'm not I'm not charging much. I don't know. I don't know anybody on social media who sets their tier as low as three dollars. I don't know nobody who sets their tier that low, but I did it because it's more about the information than, you know, than money. But support your interests. Yo, if you if you like my content, go over there and support it, because I'm going to tell you all like this. There's going to come a time where the things that I say, I'm not going to be able to say here. All right. There's already a lot of things I don't say here anymore. There's going to come a time where a lot of my content is going to go on Patreon. Way more content is going to go on Patreon than YouTube. I'm just telling you, like if y'all want to see, if you want to see on a regular basis, then go over there and pledge. All right. Yeah, absolutely. Somebody said very good content. People saying it's worth it. Thank y'all. All praises to the most high. Yeah, it, it ain't. It, it's it's worth it, ladies and gentlemen. And y'all definitely. Somebody said keep hitting the like button. No doubt about it, y'all. We almost at a thousand. Let's get it. 
We got five minutes for Q&A. Y'all know we go an hour long on these streams. We got five minutes for Q&A. If there's anything you would like to ask me, I'm here with y'all. Somebody said, I just got my all access today. Shout out to you. I'm glad you joined. Somebody said, yeah, yeah, that's what's up. Somebody said, I paid my debts. Somebody said, Q&A. Yeah, absolutely, Q&A. If it's something you would like to know. Somebody said, I got banned on Instagram for posting scripture and truth. I don't doubt it. I don't doubt you at all. Let me see. Somebody said, where you live at? I'm in the Atlanta area. I'm in Atlanta, Georgia. Everybody who's in Atlanta, Georgia, reach out. Reach out on the gram. Black Wall, thank you for the $5 contribution. Says, this really my guy. Salute to you. You my guy too, family. Somebody said, and all will be revealed. Somebody said, I'm in the ATL. Hit me up on um, Instagram. I would definitely like to link with serious-minded people. Um, I be staying to myself a whole lot, more and more. I'm becoming a recluse. I really need to make some friends in this area. I really do. Um, Crystal, thank you for the uh, Christo H. Thank you for the $10 contribution. It reads Isaiah 12 and 4. Give thanks to the Most High. Call on his name. Make his deeds known among the peoples. Declare that his name is exalted. Facts, though. Yeah. Somebody said, are you coming to the UK? Somebody said, new breed, can you help me with the Patreon? Um, also, I'm going to do this as well. Um. We on the road to having a thousand patrons, right? Which is great. We on the road to having a thousand patrons. Um, this is what I'm going to do. Right now, we need a hundred more patrons. Whoever, whoever is the thousand patron, whoever's the thousands, the thousandth patron, I'm going I'm gonna send you your money back for what you paid. I'm going I'm to actually pay for a yearly subscription for you. That's what I'm going to do. Not only am I going to send back what you pledged, I'm going to also pay for a yearly, a yearly subscription for you. So go over there and be that one. Like, go ahead and join the raffle. Get over there. And you may end up get, being that person who gets a free yearly subscription to my Patreon. All right? So I, I definitely want to do that for the people. Um... But ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to thank all y'all. Patreon link in the description box. Um, if you would like to support the work via Cash App, the Cash App is in the description box. 10% of all contributions go back to the people. Also, follow me on Instagram at Newbreed404. I'd like to thank each and every one of y'all for watching this particular stream. Y'all make sure y'all have a blessed evening. With that being said, shalom and peace.